awesome. We've been rounding up all day, so yeah, we've Between been going at press. it. We did two sets. Uh, we did an acoustic set. We did a normal set. Uh, Kyle and I were just doing another interview about a minute and a half ago, so it's been a busy day. So uh, yeah, how was your set on the second stage? Um, it was very intimate, but it was very cool because we got to play a couple songs, and it was just. It's, it's good to play something other than like the energetic stuff. Like it's good to get a little intimate feel. Played three three of our hit songs that, off of our uh, new CD. And you know, we just got to chill and play some music. It's, it's way different than being up on a big stage, bash your head around, you know? Yeah, it's funny, earlier when uh, we did our regular set, we normally play like acoustic set for like a, a meet and greet or kind of stuff. And then we'll later on in the night, we'll play like our regular set. But we played our regular set pretty early and it was awesome, like it's huge. So many kids, and it was such like a just a great feeling. And then we kind of calmed down a second, uh, got to get a little bite to eat, and then went straight to the acoustic set. And it was all up close and personal, like Kyle said, it was great. Okay, cool. So uh, let's talk about your album that was released last year, yep. Facing Back Roots. Um, yeah. What was the writing recording process like for that album? It was crazy, way different than anything we've done before. Uh, Kyle and I and Dave, our, our other vocalists, we went to California together and uh, worked with John Feldman on all like the vocals and lyrics and everything. That was like a huge vocal point. And uh, John really what, just drove Kyle and Dave every day just to be the best that they could be and be awesome. And I think it really comes through. I think vocally it's our best sounding CD that we've done. And uh, it's really close to everyone in the band. We all put just a ton of work into it. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's my thoughts on it. It's definitely, like, if you ask anyone in our band, it's definitely all of our favorite records. Like, seriously. We put all of our heart and soul into it, and like just being out in California with John, like one of our like favorite artists growing up, like it just brought the best out of us. And I could, yeah, probably say that Trace Baker is my favorite CD. So, right. so is this the first time you played Download? This is, yeah. yeah. What did it meet your expectations? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh yeah, it was we insane. only heard about it, you know, everywhere. We even seen videos on YouTube do for Download Fest, like all of our favorite bands have played here. And then to get the offer to play, it was just like icing on the cake. Yeah. You know? And you know when you hear about something, it only makes it, there, there's only so many words that you can say to make it be that cool, and it's way different than experiencing it, and today was just awesome. Um, so, what are the festivals like in the States? Do you have stuff like this? Kinda. Somewhat. It, it's, it's, a, it's a lot different. Usually there's a lot more like DJs and stuff, like Bonnaroo is kind of like this. You'll see like Paul McCartney play on the same stage <laughs> yeah. as like Dead Mouse. Or like Tenacious D walk out with like a huge like anim animatronic like dinosaur. Like Dave but, Matthews band. But yeah. this seems like it's more of a regular thing in the in the in Europe. And download being like one of the coolest festivals yeah. we've played. The so backstage far. areas on European festivals are definitely way cooler than in like in the US. Um, but yeah, we did we did some festivals in May. Uh, one was called Rock on the Range, um, one was called Rockville, just like uh, like radio rock kind of festivals, kind of like this one. And uh, it was it was cool, it was awesome, and uh, it's cool that we're able to come over to like a completely other side of the world and uh, and kind of make it work and you know just play and hang out and have fun. Cool. So, um, are you writing recording at the moment? Uh, what's going on in uh, We Came as Romans Cup? Um, we're not recording. At the moment, we're on tour <laughs> at the moment. Uh, we're gonna be writing soon after this break uh, coming up. We, uh, you know, like Kyle was saying, like all of us love Tracy Back Roots so much and it's like, if we're gonna make another CD that we're all so connected to and that we all care about so much, we gotta put, you know, that much more effort into it and that much more heart and soul. Okay, and finally, let's say one day you're headlining Download Festival from the main stage, last uh, act of the night, um, Andy Copping comes up to you and says, "You can book the festival. You, you can book the festival bill. You have the power. Uh, which bands would you book? Well, book for download. These can include acts past and pre past, acts past and present." Personally, if they gave me the power, I would ruin the festival. I'd ruin the festival with my pick. Uh, so I'm gonna go with just bands. So I go with like, yeah, not DJs. Bands. Not DJs. I, I'm a DJ kid, so. I go with Pendulum, I go with Metallica, <laughs> I go with uh, 
weak car again, you know. Duh. Two seconds. Obviously. Bring me the horizon, a day to remember. And Memphis Mayfire. I put Lincoln Park and Architects on it as well. Uh, Miss May, I, they're over in Europe right now. They're just good friends of others. I want to see them. They're they're nice. They're nice guys. <laughs> and then uh, all those bands on every stage just rotating. When you're done with one stage, you actually just have to run to the next and then restart your set. And that's how Kyle and I ruined download. Yeah.